10, 4, 7, 1. Okay, so do you like the 10 the most? Yeah. Okay, so slow down zones. All right, so we like the 10 the most. And did you say the 4 was next? Yes. Okay, so then if the 4 is your next choice, we'll put the 4 here. If you went to the window and played an exact a 10, 4, you would have to get it exactly right. 10 has to win, 4 has to run second. The next progression from that is to do what's called boxing them, where you go up and you get 10-4 and you get 4-10. So now you have wiggle room, but still you have to get the exact two horses that are gonna run first, second. So right now your 10 is 14 to one on the board. If the 10 wins the race and the four finishes third, you're gonna feel really bad because you're gonna have missed out on a lot of money. So what I wanna do then is I wanna turn this into a $1 exacta, and let's go ahead and build it so that it gives you a bunch of wiggle room. Like I always tell people, if you're out here, my goal is to make it so that you can be kind of right and get paid for it. If you put a $2 win bet, you have to be exactly right. If you play a $2 exacta 10-4, you have to be exactly right. Let's make you be less right and get paid more for it. So the 10 and 4 are your top two picks. So let's put the 10 and 4 in first place and then we'll draw a slash, and that's called, that's a terrible arrow, but that's called with, and if you think the 10 and four are good enough to win, you think the 10 and four are good enough to run second, right? So let's put them down here too. I think you had two other horses on your ticket, right? Yeah, seven and one. Seven and one. So if we put those there, this bet costs six dollars total. Basically what you do is you buy six different combinations where either of these horses has to win, and then any of these can run second. So as long as your strongest opinion, as long as one of your strongest opinions wins the race, you get all of this wiggle room here. This is a 10 horse race, so after you get your strongest opinion home, you basically have 33% of the rest of the field left to run second. If you get the 10 over the one, they're what, 13 to one and 16 to one right now, this $1 ticket would probably pay $250 unlikely to happen in that order, maybe, which is why I would pay so much, but it's okay. If the 10 comes home and then the four runs second and he's a bit more of a favorite, the thing will still pay $40, $50, $60. You can make good money doing this and you're basically investing your $6 in such a way that you don't have to be exactly right. Whereas like, let's look at your Superfecta ticket. Right, so you have to be exactly right or basically, yeah, so you know, what if it comes in 10, 7, 4, 1. You're gonna have a sad face on because that's gonna be thousands of dollars you missed out on. But that was a one dollar bet? That was a 10 cent bet, yes. That, that, that's the other plus. Is those you can definitely build for cheaper, but you know, obviously then when you start getting into four spots, it's much tougher than three spots, which is much tougher than two spots. But, but then how do, you, <coughs> how do you bet them? Do you have like, to like separate bets? Then? Well, Basically what this, it's technically called a part wheel, <coughs> like a partial wheel, and it's just a fancy way of combining six bets, because basically all you've done here is you've bought a $1 exacta that says 10 10-4, 10-7, 10-1, 4-10, 4-7, 4-1. So that's where you get your $6, because that's six individual bets. It's just an easier way, and you can't go up to the window basically and punch $1 exactas individually because they have to total two. So this way, you're just purchasing six bets, covering yourself, and then just hoping for the longest shots to run one, so too. So it's called a par wheel? Is that, Part wheel. Is that on the screen? Yeah, and if, if you wanted to bet one, I could walk you through it. Once you do it once, you're a pro, you'll never need my help again. Um, a part wheel, like P-A-R-T, so you would go in and you would put one dollar exacta and then at the bottom there's a little button that says that. You don't even need to press it, you can just press 10-4 with, which is a button on the bottom, 10-4-7-1 and it'll build your ticket on the left side for you. And then as long as it looks like this when you're done punching it in, you did, you did it right basically. And if you're interested in betting one later, I can help you build one for any race on the card today, I can help you bet it on the machine, whatever the case may be. Well, okay, so let's say if we wanted to do this, which, okay, the 10 is your top choice. Let's say you did feel really strongly about the 10. We could, 
move this slash over and key the 10 over the one, four, three, seven, eight, nine. Now you're still spending your six bucks, but you're giving your, if you're really confident about this, now you're giving yourself 65% of the remaining field to run in second. So yeah, I mean, I'll play bets like this frequently if I really like a horse. I'll just play something like a $5 exact apart wheel, that horse over five horses, and I'll spend 25 bucks, let's say. But you obviously don't have to do that. But yeah, I mean, this is good for if there's, if there's a horse later that you absolutely love, don't think can lose. Because then you're not wasting the money on these combinations that you don't feel as strongly about. So yeah, the whole thing is basically just what you're willing to risk versus what you're looking to get back, all based on your opinion. Every bet should always be based on your opinion, whether you're out here for the first time today or out here for the 50th time today. You know, it's don't let anybody talk you off of a horse.